Hey, what is up, viewers? My name is SDK, and welcome to Pokemon Academy Life, a game that is, as far as I know, the very first Pokemon dating simulator. Yes, you heard me correctly. I am super excited about this. I have no idea what to expect, but I hope you're ready for this, ladies and gentlemen. I have my chapstick on. I hope you have yours on as well. And without further ado, let's begin our journey into Pokemon Academy. Or Pokemon University, this is a fan-made game based on characters from the Pokemon franchise. It is not to be purchased or sold for monetary reasons. Please support the Pokemon franchise by pushing its games. Uh, so this is, yeah, this is basically kind of an alternate universe almost to um, Pokemon, where instead of just sending the kids off into the, like, young kids off into the real world uh, to fight these monsters, uh, they have them go to a college almost for, um, for training Pokemon and stuff like that, I think. So, it's pretty cool. Uh, now, be warned, you have been warned now. Uh, you may lose brain cells because this game doesn't have voice acting, it seems, and I have to do the reading. So, I'm, I'm fine with reading, but uh, I be prepared to lose some brain cells. At first, I wasn't so sure. But once I got on, the bu on that bus and the engine started humming, the air brakes released, and the other passengers started yapping away, dozing off, blasting their music through headphones that might as well not be there. I knew this was real. After 16 years, I left Palatown, that little village in the southwestern pocket of Kenoto, Ken, Kanto. Gosh. I was headed to the Kob Kobukan region, a piece of land that I now realize is farther away than I expected. In front of me is Kobukan Academy, the reason behind this new chapter in my life. Finally free. I make a much anticipated move, uh, moment. Oh, I take a much anticipated moment to stretch my limbs out after remaining glued to a bus seat for over 10 hours. My knees creaked as if I were 50 years past my prime. Uh, by the way, guys, this is actually, um, I believe this is the beta for it or alpha. Or it's basically early, so the game is not yet finished. Um, so do not expect like a full walkthrough yet. I will be doing, I, there's just, I know I'm going to be doing a full walkthrough when this game comes out, but for now it is just a, um, a kind of early build of the game just to see uh, what it is. So just keep that in mind. Well, that's no good. The sounds of other new arrivals soon fill the air, redirecting my focus. The atmosphere is healthy blend is a healthy blend of curiosity, excitement from students who have made their own journeys here. Ten hours, that's insane. That's crazy. Well, I'm in feel I'm ugh, I'm unfamiliar with these surroundings. A prickling but desirable chill shoots up and down the back of my spine. Adrenaline is coursing through my veins now. I just can't help but dive into and dive in and immerse myself in this unique sensation. My eagerness builds up, and I catch myself dazed with a rapidly spreading, goofy smile. I pat both sides of my face to bring myself back to reality. I'm glad I dozed off a bit on the bus. I was imagining all the different people I'll soon meet, different Pokemon I'll be able to see, train, and learn about. I mean, hey, that's why I'm here. Dra daydreaming. Number one time killer. That's true, it is. But still... Long ride aside, I have to admit, I'm liking this view already. Worth it. Hashtag worth. I stretch mightily uh, one more time before picking up two cases of uh, my two cases of luggage. I don't have a, a whole ton of a whole lot on me, just the essentials. So underwear, and that's it. All my belongings in tow, I head toward the main entrance of what I believe to be the uh, resi residence hall. It's a short walk past the entrance gates, so I cut uh, cut down my stride. I'd like to take as much of the sights as I can whenever there's an opportunity. Okay. But whether I... Oh, is that... Yo! I look... Oh, yeah. Okay, so I believe... Don't, don't quote me on this, but I believe all the characters we see are older versions. So, like, roughly my age, like 18-ish, um, of actual Pokemon characters. So, I believe this is Ash. I believe, uh, but uh, but whether I like it or not, uh, taking the scenic route will have to wait until another time. The building's mechanical uh, oh, doors automatically swung open upon my approach. I did I read everything? I feel like I skipped something. I don't know. All right. Guide. Hiya. Welcome to the re relic of relic build. Cut. Relic hall. One of the three residence halls of this esteemed academy. Your name is. Oh. 
My name is... The clown greeted me as soon as I got into the building. Wow, just... I'm a savage. Straight savage maneuvers here. Uh, I assume he's the guy that's stabbed here. I'll play along. What's your name? Oh, wait, I can pick my name. Sweet. Actually, you know what? Let's do... There we go. I see. So, you're Prince. <laughs> yes. That's me. You must be there. Uh, oh, you must be here on Professor Oak's recommendation. Yeah, you know, he, I'm his favorite student and stuff. Have you met up with uh, uh, him yet? No, Champ. Champ? What? No, my name's not Champ. Uh, was I supposed to meet up with Professor before coming here? What gives? I don't remember him telling me that. I don't remember him telling me that. I just skip words. Whatever. Words? Who needs words, you know? Whatever he must, uh, he must be uh, way too busy anyway. Honestly, I don't know. I don't even know uh, what he's working on nowadays. More Pokédex updates, evolution theory, hum oh, Pokemon behavior. I don't know if you guys know this, but I believe like two days ago, three days ago, there was actually a new Pokemon that was re like revealed that it's going to come out, and I believe it, apparently it's the first ever hum wait, what is it? Fire and water Pokemon. So it's a Steam type. It's really cool. It looks really, really weird. It looks like it has a portal on its back. You guys can, I'm sure you guys can find it on the internet of the webs. But, uh, yeah. It's fun, fun fact. He's getting old. Shouldn't he, uh, start taking, shouldn't he start taking it easy? Er, uh, actually, no, not yet. I haven't seen him. Hey, no worries. He's just a busy man. We all know it. Today, especially, with all the students and media hustling, bustling, uh, bustling through, the hall guide is interesting? But he's probably right about Professor Oak. I'm pretty sure Pallet Town's on the map simply because uh, that's where Professor's uh, research lab is located. At least, I think that's the real reason. He's one of the biggest celebrities in the Kent, uh, Kanto region, so I'm not surprised he got an offer to uh, to teach here. Oh, he's a oh he's literally a professor. Okay, sweet. But what did surprise me was when he told me to come here. I had my doubts. I mean, what do I know? Why why me? I've I've never. <sighs> I can't read. I've never been uh, past Viridian City before, and I've only been uh, seen two. Oh, God, what two? What where the friggin' number two come from? I've only seen two cities, uh, like Saffron and Seldon on S Seladon on TV. I don't even know how to say like some of the regular Pokemon maps. I have to accept the offer, though. I can't see myself cooped up in Palantown uh, forever. I did play. I do, I do play the Pokemon games, not the new ones anymore just because I don't I don't know it's just weird I it's been a while since I played I, I, if I go back and play Pokemon game it's either gonna be Emerald or Pearl those, those are the two games I play I still have my DS I haven't upgraded like to a 3DS or a new 3DS XL or anything like that but I still have my old DS Lite and you know what I'm fine with that by the way oh let me know with you guys what do you uh, do you guys play Pokemon games and uh, you know what do you play it on do you play the new 3DS or you know still old school maybe you guys have like a GBA too uh, or still let me know. By the way, champ, uh, it's first come, first serve for rooms here. You better find a roommate before the other students start checking in. You've got some time, uh, but I say you get you better get started pronto. I don't know where better better came from. If you haven't started already, plenty of other new kids are gathered around in the main lo lounge toward the hall down the hall. To the top. What what? Toward the left down the hall might be a good idea for you to check there first. I, I this was. Me, my reading in this video was off to such a great start, and then poop. It just became poop. But hey, you have been warned. I have freaking terrible reading. Feel free to leave your luggage here. We'll store it up and bring it to your room once you're ready. That's convenient. Thanks. You leave your belongings with the hall guide. I don't trust him. I called him a clown, and let's see. Straight down toward the left, so what? And follow the noise, I guess? Okay. Oh my god, look at all the kids. Is this it? Well, well. God, no. Come on. Oh, wow, blue. Look who finally decided to show up. Great. This is just great. Blue. Sure, he is the grandson of the great Professor Oak. Sure, Pokemon Prodigy or whatever. Sure, we're the same age, so people compare us all day. Sure. We just we we also grew up in the same town, and we're just so lucky to see each other's face almost every day. But Blue, this guy might have uh, an un unhealthy obsession with me. I guess he's my um, I guess friendly uh, opponent here. 
He's always messing with me. Why? Clearly he's obsessed. Uh, that's really the only way I can help uh, explain it. As usual, uh, we're, you were a step behind. Did you just get here? I can picture you chasing after the bus. I was even... Oh, I was even nice enough to send you a wake-up call this morning. Uh, on the same bus. Why are, we, why are we racing again? I bow to you, my dear. Uh, I said we were on the same bus. Blue. We boarded the, the, at the same time, remember? <laughs> Intuition increased. Yes! Oh. Interesting. <laughs> Whatever. I didn't notice you. The standard blue response. Ugh. What did I used to call him? Uh, what did I used to call him? What's a good name for, for Blue? Uh, guys, I freaking have no idea. Alright, so for this, I'll just make up a name. Uh, but for when the actual game comes out, when I will be playing it, I'm guessing I'm going to have to give him a name. So it would be awesome if you guys could go ahead and leave a comment below of what you want me to call him. Um, but for now, I wouldn't call him... Uh, Dora... No... What's it? Diego. Go, Diego, go. Ah, right. Diego. <laughs> I don't know why I said Diego. I regret calling him Diego now. Anyway, you're late, and the best rooms are getting reserved left and right. You're still looking for a roommate, yeah? True. A lot more people... Uh, a lot, yeah, a lot more people got here earlier than I expected. Technically, I'm right on time, but it looks like a bunch of people decided to show up before the recommended check-in hours. I wonder if Diego already picked uh, out a roomie. Then again, rooming with him not exact uh, with him might not be exactly be the best idea. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Asking out of curiosity wouldn't hurt, right? Yeah, I'm looking for a roommate. How about you? <laughs> yeah. Okay, Prince. Dude, don't even try to lump lump it. What lumped me in with you? I already found a roommate and reserved a room. I'm just here to see if there's any smart and strong students here besides me. Speaking of which, you'll hold me up. I've got better things to do. <laughs> I don't know why I said Diego. What the f- why, why, why Diego? I mean, I said, you know, Dora. <sighs> Alright, let me know what you guys think. I'll, my idea is I'm probably going to call him Orange. The actual, uh, <laughs> in the actual game. Uh, whenever that comes out, I don't have no idea. Don't waste uh, too much time, pal. Smell ya later. Oh, ugh. He didn't, he didn't even say later. He just said smell ya. That's that's just creepy. <sighs> I guess it's time to look around. Okay, there are so many students in the lounge. I don't even know where to begin. I'm at a disva I'm at a disadvantage here. Pallet Town's a small place, so if there's anyone here else besides Blue and me here, I would know beforehand. And there's really no one near here I can recognize. Trying not to appear that like an awkward creep, because I like to... Oh, I have a feeling the longer I stare at the crowds, the more likely that'll happen. I casually stroll alongside the edge of the lounge to see what uh, who I can approach for this whole roommate business. It seems like all... Uh, wait, what? It seems like many students have already gotten themselves acquainted with each other uh, before I got here. And judging by the fact that it's mostly, uh, it's mostly guys to guys and girls to girls... Oh, what? Yeah, girls... Yeah, you know what I mean. There's likely here... What? They're likely here for the same reason I am. Okay. The, uh, I'm sure the longer I wait, the more difficult it will be for me to stri strike up a conversation. Hmm. Who can I... Ooh, pardon me. Who can I talk to? Okay, so. It's like, who is that Pokemon? So. Hmm. This looks like a fish. Oh, this actually... Alright, alright. So, I think. Don't get me wrong. Or... I don't know. I feel like these actually like are like human representations of Pokemon. I don't know, like like that hair and that weird like wisp right there. I don't know, but uh, I'll go with this, this guy. Sure, why not? I approach a serious-looking boy with long hair who seems lost in thought while browsing on his phone. Huh, so me. The image of my face reflects off his phone, uh, rather peculiar. What? Off his rather peculiar sunglasses uh, that he wears over his hat. Whoa. Yes. What should I ask? What's your name? Name's Callum. What's yours? I should give Callum my life story. <laughs> well, maybe not. Uh, I'd probably bore him to death. I see. Prince from Pallet Town? That's pretty much far away. Oh, that's pretty far away from Kanto region. But I'm from Kalos, which is just as far. Heh. Gave him a long way just to study here. 
What should I ask next? Next. Keeping yourself busy, looking for a roomie, never mind. Hmm. Let's say ask looking for a roomie. Any chance you're looking for a roommate here? Yes, actually. That's one of my many things on my to-do list. Uh, were you looking for uh, uh, a thing about rooming with me? A complete stranger? As far as impressions go, he seems like a reasonable, uh, responsible guy. And if I think about it, it might be some good, uh, what? It's some good to room with someone like him. Okay. You bet. Yep, you bet. Expression increased. Sweet. Don't think I can say no to your enthusiasm. Okay, I'm in. Yes! Ladies and gentlemen, we got our first roommate. Let me know when you want to uh, go to reserve a room. I'm ready to go right now. Ready when you are. Cool. Let's go then. Sweet. Callum is now your roommate. I don't know why I said it like that. Maybe like, Callum is now your roommate. I don't know. I don't know what way you could say that and really sound like appropriate. Something about Callum tells me he's, he'll be a good influence. The way he carries himself and how he clearly prioritizes everything he needs to do uh, sets a great example. I feel like I'll be able to uh, get a lot done as well as uh, as long as he's around. Let me actually move my mic. The first thing on the agenda is to reserve a room in the academy's residence hall. By the way, guys, I do want to let me, or I want you guys to let me know what you think of the mic quality. This is a new mic. Uh, I haven't used it too many. This is like probably the second or third video that I've used it in, so. It's a pretty new mic, I'm still getting used to it. I hope the audio levels or anything like that are all right. But I'm just letting you guys know that it's a new mic. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment below or tweet at me. My Twitter is also below. Have you thought about where we, uh, where you'd prefer uh, the room to be? Uh, there's like three fours in this particular building. Okay. Before I get a chance to answer, Callum diverts his uh, attention elsewhere. elsewhere. Ooh, a slender girl with average build and shoulder length. Uh, vol volume? Voluminous? Voluminous? I, I, how do I... A great volume of hair was approaching us. She was certainly locked in, uh, in on column. Hmm, I don't think she even notices me. That's certainly something graceful about her. Oh, there's something certainly grace, graceful about her. I can't really describe it. At least from literal first impressions, she seems like a girl with a respectful background. Some people just give off that type of aura when you see them. Kellen? As she drew closer, I realized that she wasn't particularly tall, nor uh, had an imposing appearance. Yet she had has that uh, what expression that defines confidence and resolution. I think that's it. I think that's she's the one of those shy, shy, indecisive girls. And in that regard, it it makes you want to pay attention to her. Well, at least that's how I feel. Oh, hello, Serena. This is a, uh, this is a surprise. I had no idea you were enrolled here. <laughs> Same for me. I didn't know I'd find you here. Was that was that appropriate for for her voice? I just wanted to say quick hello. Are you busy? Callum just gestured toward. <coughs> I'm just choked. <coughs> Callum just uh, gestured toward me without a word. What? Oh, apparently that was enough information for Serena. She passed me a quick smile. I, I couldn't say any, uh, anything for some reason, so I just smiled back. It's unfortunate, though. I'm actually really short uh, on time right now. I have to meet up with a few girls I met earlier to run some errands and prepare for next week's. No, oh, for the next few weeks. But it's really great to see you here. Let's catch up later. Sure, I'll see you around. Oh, she she got out of there real fast, and that was all. That the uh, this girl Serena comes by and disappears back into the crowd in mere seconds. Yeah, she got out of there real fast. She saw me and she was like, "Oh my God, this guy's super cute." I'm about to head out so he doesn't see me blush and shit. Totally how she talks. Did you see her personality? That's definitely how she talks. Yeah, from the brief encounter, I have a feeling this won't be this last time I see her. Friend of yours? You can say that. What was that face? What is that face? In fact, we're neighbors, and we do chat once in a while. I really had no idea she was going uh, to be here, though. That's odd. Huh. Her talk about running errands reminds me. You want me to help... Oh wait, you want to help me out with some later? Oh, you'll probably have a few uh, handful of things you're, you'll need, right? I wonder about that for. Oh, I wonder about that for a moment. I don't know what I need for classes yet, and I'm almost completely sure I have all my basic necess uh, necessities. Should I accompany Callum? Sure, I'll tag along. Eh, why not? I'll tag along. Nice. 
Let's get this sign up done. Afterward, I need to make a call. Oh yeah, here. We see if Callum's info. My contact, just in case. I'll reach. Uh, oh, I'll reach out to you when. What? I'll reach out to you when to head out. But let's get this room reserved first. When you obtain someone's uh, info, that person will show up in your character cards collection. You can view character cards uh, through the menu, uh, access uh, by pressing escape, and then right-clicking on their on your mouse. So let's let's see. Okay, character cards. Uh, students. Oh shit, Kellen, you're one. Vin Vannyville Town, Kalos, unknown unknown. Wait. Types? Oh, okay. I guess what he, what he's like, what Pokemon he's good with? I guess activities unknown, hobbies unknown. Flip. Calum comes from a family of professional Pokemon trainers. As a, re as a result, he is incredibly studious and diligent individual, gifted from the, both combat and research sides of greater Pokemon knowledge. Okay, sweet. Uh, blue. Uh, let's see. Blue is uh, Princess' childhood friend. Oh, my screen just blacked. There we go. Occasionally, I don't know why my screen just blacks out every now and then. Uh, Prince's childhood friend from Pallet Town, though the two of them uh, would prefer to call each other rivals. That's the word. I knew I knew there was a word for like the other person that like, always follows you around and stuff. Uh, rivals. I said friendly opponents for some reason. His desire to become a strong intellectual Pokemon trainer often associates him with what? Often associates him with elite company. Sweet. I believe we have. Wait, do we have Serena? No, we we barely talked to Serena, so probably not. And we, but yeah, we have none of these other people unlocked traits. So we have, okay, oh, so there's a, almost like a character building tree here. Kind of like Fallout, I like it. That's cool. Okay, sweet, back. Uh, right, let's continue. He's gone. He is out of here. Oh no, he's, oh, we both left. Callum and I managed to get in line to reserve your, uh, our room. The sign-up lines were growing longer by the minute, and, but we managed to squeeze our way in before it, uh, it got too unreasonable. The brief encounter with Serena didn't cost us anything. At first, oh, as first year students, we don't have too many choices for room locations. It seems the rooms on the second floor are, are the most desirable ones, considering the upper classmates were reserved all of them are oh have reserved all of them already. You know what? I just had a. I wonder if there's going to be a game that kind of pans through all four years. That would be absolutely insane. Or maybe it'll be like multiple games, like one like Academy. Pardon me. Uh, Pokemon Academy one, two, and three, and four, and that'll be the four years. I have something on I. I can just freaking squishing my eye away and I can't get the shit out. God damn it. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Callum said he preferred the first floor since it's easier to get in and out of the building that way. Also, it's easier for us to escape in case if there's a fire. Callum commented in a reasonably calm uh, voice as he uh, as he signed his chair of documents. I was actually just about to say that. Like, if there was a fire, we'd be out of there real fast. I was going to counter... Uh, Oh, I was going to counter with something along with the lines of building collapsing as, and I was getting buried alive, but I decided against it. Okay, I have some things to go up and check up on first, so I'll be heading this way. Uh, I'll let you know when to meet up later. Sweet! Callum left. Hmm, what should I do first? So, check out my belongings and check okay, out the room. I think we should go and check out the room. I want to see what it looks like. The guide did say they'll send uh, my stuff up once the room's reserved. I might as well, uh, oh, I might as well head over and check it out. Oh, seems like a pretty, like, typical college dormitory. Uh, I didn't like, uh, oh, I didn't take long before, oh, it didn't take long before the hall, uh, staff brought my two suitcases along with Kellums. Uh, I could take the time and go out and explore a bit, uh, but it wasn't like I had anything particular I had to do right now. I decided to unpack. The room was more spacious than I expected. That wasn't a huge. Oh, what? I wasn't a huge fan of the hardwood floor, but other than that, I really couldn't complain. Why? I guess it's hardwood. Look, I'm on hardwood right now. I don't know if you guys can hear me tapping away right now, but uh, I'm on hardwood right now. Um, I guess it gets it does get a little cold in the winter, in the winter seasons. Which, by the way, it's supposed to be winter right now. It's December. It's supposed to be winter right now, but I feel like. The state I live in, just completely, you know what? Screw winter. I'm expecting the freaking flowers to bloom soon. It, that's what's going to happen, guys. That's what's going to happen. My, entire, my state just skipped skip winter. Fun fact. I don't know. This, this video is full of fun facts. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. I am basically just... There's no focus in my videos. I just say whatever comes to mind. Each person has his own bed, desk, cabinet. The standard. And there's just as much space and leg room in between. 
Hell, if you divide the room in half, I'd probably say the same size uh, as my room back in Palatown, if not bigger. See, all right, well, hold on. Um, I spent too much time, uh, way too much time, looking uh, around the rooms that I barely started unpacking my belongings. Okay, so the thing I realized is that this looks way better than any dormitory I've ever seen. I've seen, oh gosh, I've, I've just like hit my mic. Uh, I've seen dormitories before because, you know, when I was looking around for colleges and or visiting friends and stuff like that, I've seen dormitories. But freaking, this this looks like luxurious as anything. Oh my god. This is beautiful. Attention you students, the time is 4.45 p.m. There will be an orientation taking place in the auditorium and relic hall starting in 15 minutes. All new students are advised to attend. Advised, not mandatory. Actually, at the time to confirm. How far is it from here? I don't even know. I'm going to assume it'll take some time, so I'll, I'll head over. Whoa! Is that the first time the entire day that my phone rang? That really caught me off guard. Callum, maybe? Hello? Ah, I knew it! Hey, Prince Callum! Did you hear the announcement? Oh, did you hear the announcement? Uh, I'm not too far away. Uh, I'm not too far away from the auditorium right now. Let's meet up uh, for the orientation if you're not busy. Orientation. All right, I'll see you there. I guess I'll just have to unpack later. My face, like the facial expressions these characters make, are really weird. Welcome, new students. It's ridiculous how many first-year students are stuffed in here. I mean, yeah, I know. Look at all those kids. Anyway, um. <laughs> but by the looks of it, Callum is, uh, is thinking just the same. He scanned the massive room for a moment, uh, then finally shrugged his shoulders and gesturing to move on. Finally gesturing, yeah, I guess I read that. I, I don't know, you, you guys get the gist. Not sure what, uh, what that meant, but I will just follow his lead. More students convinced, uh, oh, continued to continue in in even now. I, I, what? I guess there's a lot, uh, what? There's likely at least a couple hundred here alone. I don't know what other, uh, about other regions, but back in Kanto, other than two big city schools, I'd be a... What? I, I can't read. Back in Kanto, other than big city schools, it'd be a stretch to have the, half the number of students here uh, in a single grade. I can't read. No? Freaking... I'm, I'm on holidays. I don't need to read. Then again, students from all over the world are enrolled here. If I think about it... Uh, oh, if I were to think about it that way, a couple hundred... Uh, for the one grade is pretty selective. All right, come on, let's move up. We're clogging up the entrance. Oh shit! What the fuck? Ah, oh, gee, stop! Ugh. Oh, he just died. Cal, you killed Callum. What the hell was that? All right, all right, everyone. We can all do your cute intros to catch up with each other later, but please find yourself a seat. There should be a plenty of open spots. Half the people in this room are still brain dead on the floor after that feedback attack. I'm in pain. Male student. Female student. Give me a break. Oh, I'll kill you! <laughs> Flattery, not here. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Lose them weight! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Pew, pew, pew! Unnecessary. What? Why she go? What? That was X-Men shit right there. She... Come on. We're on a schedule. Stop moving. I didn't have to... I, I didn't press uh, space for any of that. They just... That, that dialogue just unfolded itself. Hey, hey, ma'am. That's one way that's one way to get everyone's attention. That's the student council's president, Roxanne Roxanne? A third year. Colin pointed out, uh, to the podium on the stage as we sat down in our seats. I'm surprised he found the uh, the source of that what? The source that fast despite the collapsing uh, to the ground earlier. Oh yeah, he actually physically collapsed to the ground. Ah, nice. Uh, I look forward and see a long uh, a lone female student now standing by the stadium's put. Hold on one sec. I, I, I have my sound crap open. Oh, this is awkward. Okay, so, <laughs> so apparently I had uh, I clicked on uh, the game twice. So there's two Pokemon Academy lives playing in the background. So my computer's running twi uh, double time. But anyway, uh, did I read that? Uh, whatever. You sure uh, you sure recovered fast? I was just caught off guard. Shall we uh, sit before she blows our ears off a second time? Good evening, our new students. Whoa. She's pretty cute. I am Roxanne, and to start... Wait, what, what voice should we give her? I say, and to start... I would like to thank the Academy staff here for allowing the console to hold this special event. 
I hope you will, uh, you will all make the most of this occasion and grant me the opportunity to officially welcome everyone. What? Oh, welcome every one of you to its prestigious estab uh, to this prestigious establishment, Dragon Judo Pass. Everyone, welcome to the Kobokan Academy of Advanced Pokemon Arts and Sciences. I would love to freaking go to this school. Not even joking. If this was a real life college, I would freaking go there. While we are calling this event an orientation, I'd like to ask you. Uh, oh, I'd like to ask for your patience in this initial assembly before you all return to socializing or attending your personal agendas. For the first time, I'd like to cover. Let me know what. Uh, for the first thing, I'd like to cover. Let me know. Oh, let me make it crystal clear that to. It is imperative you reserve a spot in one of the student hall. Uh, resident hall. I can't read. Residential hall as soon as you can. The one here is Relic Hall, and there are two more, Pledge Hall and Aura Hall. Aura Hall? What? what? Northeast and Southeast, uh, respectively, from this location. If you haven't signed up for a room with a roommate, I would strongly, strongly recommend you register your student info in the Academy's roommate marching, uh, matching service, where you will automatically be paired with another student. Sweet. I guess, I guess possibly there is a chance that we couldn't, we don't have a roommate yet, because... Pardon me, if we just hit, re like, ignore, or no, never mind for all the people that, like, all the four people, then I guess we wouldn't have a roommate. Interesting. If you don't have uh, a roommate by midnight, oh, room by midnight, the Academy will automatically assign you one and a roommate. And it's all first come, first serve, so again, do it as soon as you can. Another important item to cover is class scheduling. All of you here uh, will follow a present, uh, what? Will follow a present, oh, preset, I can't freaking read. We'll follow a preset schedule for five periods uh, per, of five, five periods per day. I'll cover each uh, right now. So if you don't want to wake up confused next week, pay close attention. The first period of each day is homeroom, for lasting two hours. Core subjects will be covered here by your professor. If you're curious, core subjects include Pokemon social uh, social studies, sciences. Be, uh, what? Oh, Pokemon sciences, I guess. Um, basic theory and history. Following uh, homeroom will be an hour of either uh, oh, of either your Pokemon type elective uh, choice or the gym. The class will alternate each day. Uh, each day, so if you have gym today, tomorrow you'll have the type elective your type elective uh, class followed by gym the day after. Interesting. What uh, what elective uh, what what type elective uh, class you take depends on completely on you. Especially you'll be able to select two out of the 18 known uh, Pokemon types to focus on your studies on. Oh, focus your studies on. The third period of the day will be uh, will be the reserve of the what reverse? God damn it! Of the re previous period, which means is either type of a type elective class or a gym alternate each alternating each day. This will uh, be the second Pokemon type electro choice of your choice. Okay, I get it. I hope you guys get it also. I'm sure you guys do. You are all smart people and beautiful people, so let's move on with it, okay? Don't make fun of me. Uh, to make it uh, extra clear, uh, this means you will always uh, this means you'll always have one of your uh, type electives classes and one gym session each day. From noon starts your lunch hour. The main care oh the main cafeteria is at the student center in the middle of this, uh, this campus. You are more than welcome to appear your, uh, to prepare your own meals ahead of time. After that, the fifth uh, and final period is one more session of homeroom lasting two hours. That's a total of seven hours from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Between three to six, you uh what? Yeah, between three to six, all academy research and extracurricular facilities are designated. Uh, for individuals uh, or groups to use. After that, they will require permits for access. So I guess 6 p.m. everything kind of shuts down. Keep that in mind, as uh, the school day officially ends after 6 p.m. I do hope that he was uh, that wasn't too much information for oh what uh, of an over information overload. Uh, once classes are in session, I trust you all of you will be able to de uh, develop a comfortable routine. Like many professors have said in the past, your own adventure, your own adventure is about to begin. This is the Kobakan Academy and here oh and being here is your pride. Working together, we wish to foster an environment where you can believe in your own goals and take every opportunity that presets itself before you. As far as we uh, as far as we might, the reality is that not everything we uh what? We will always go your way. Oh, everything will always go your way. Not every opportunity will be uh, for everyone and not every door will be open for you. That's dark. 
However, should you ever find yourself in a situation where you feel trapped and uh, helpless, remember you can always create your own door and travel your own path. Like the guy who damnly fucking created calculus. You guys know that? I don't know if you guys know this. The, the guy who created calculus was literally just broke and he needed a way to make money, so he just created calculus. And now he's screwing every freaking college and high school student in the world. Beautiful. Make money, screw up generations of kids. Perfect. Have a great rest of the day, everyone, and don't forget to uh, get those sign-ups done. Alright. What do you think, Prince? Hmm, about Roxanne's speech? Well, I guess that's something, too. I'm more focused on this class... Uh, oh, the class schedule part. I mean, we're completely set on the same... Uh, oh, on the ro room situation, so there's nothing for us... For us to do there, I'll be in touch picking. Oh, it'll be tough picking two uh, type ooh, uh, out of 18. But we'll have different instructors and classmates depending on the types we choose. Should we go back and get this sorted out? Gelm seems to. Uh, uh, seems like he wants to be at a rep, uh, what, back right away to start preparing for next week's classes. Part of me wants to stick around and see who's here. There's a good chance some of them will end up in the same class as me. But at least for now, I guess there's still some time left before everything starts. Let's head back, and we can. Uh, and we didn't. You didn't check out the room, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting things set up. Sweet. This is a long demo. I thought it was gonna be one. I mean, uh, it's probably still gonna be one video. It's just a super long video, so I hope you're ready. Uh, let's begin, shall we? Which two types of uh, electives will you choose? There are 18 known Pokemon types: Fire, Water, Grass, Electric, Normal, Fighting, Flying, Psychic, Poison, Ground, Rock, Bug, Ghost, Steel, Dark, Ice, Dragon, Fire, and Fairy. And Steam now, actually. So, fun fact: Steam. Add that in there. Prince, are you listening to me? While you're editing this, put put that shit in there. All right, there you go. See and Steam. All right, continue. I have to decide carefully which two types should be my electives for this year. Hmm. Oh, I got the choice. So I'm going to pick fire. Ah, should I go fire as an elective? Yeah. Yeah. One one more to go. Okay. So fire. I think dragon. Should I go with Dragon as an elective? Yes. I think that's what Charizard is, isn't it? I think Charizard is Fire and Dragon. Uh, yeah, you've selected Fire and Dragon as your uh, type electives. Oh, you picked Fire and Dragon. I picked Grass and Psychic. Uh, that's too bad. We won't be in the same elective classes. Oh well, it happens. There's still a chance we might be in the same homeroom class, so we'll see. Ah, there's something in my eye. Why? We get attacked. One week to go before classes begin. Uh, we should rest up and take... Oh, we should rest up and take the uh, next few days to fully settle in. He's right. Just one week to go. Whew, this is it's a lot of reading. Despite the heavy force of exhaustion here, uh, bearing back down on me, I continued to sort out through my belongings and finished unpacking everything. The full onset of night here uh, was here, and going to sleep would be uh, common sense. However, actually being able to fall asleep was a different story. To say I wasn't able uh, to say I wasn't excited would be a blatant lie. I'm hundreds of miles away from home, and now I'm uh, I'm here at this academy with countless, countless new people to meet. Just one more week. I can't wait. Oh man, oh, there's a lot of reading. Is that it? Oh, I think that's it. Aww, look down, you little Pidgeot. Is that Pidgeot? Ah, oh, probably. Don't tell me I butchered it. I hope I. I hope I get a Pokemon fan game. Ooh. That's it. That's all you gonna say? Friggin. Produced by Pokemon Visual. Pokemon Academy Life. Oh, the music too. Oh, this is just so insane. Uh, conception in writing by Visual J. Oh my gosh, I am just super. Guys, do you hear the music in the back? I'm just so fanboying right now. Oh, I don't know if you guys know this. Pokemon um, Pearl was actually one of the first video games I've ever played. Um, so I just, it's just like I love Pokemon because that's like the reason why I started playing video games. Is my first, very first. Oh, look at that! All oh, those. Oh, that's cool. That's cool as fuck, man. You know what I'm saying? That's cray cray. That's super cool. And I guess the credits are happening. I don't know if this is the intro sequence or the ending, but I'll keep it running just because I feel like the, everyone that is 
all the people that are right now that you're seeing, like the names you're seeing on screen, deserve credit for bringing this sh super cool thing to life. Pokemon Visual uh, Projects License Under Commons. Okay, that's not even. That's not a cup. That's not a cup. I don't know what you call it. Something you read. It's just there. I think that's it, guys. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Do we? Wait, what's happening? I'm confused. Do we? Do I click on it? Um. Oh. Okay. Oh. We continue. All right. You know what, guys? That was super, super long. So I'll end the first episode here. I hope you guys enjoy it. I will be. I'll continue playing, so you guys can expect some more of this game coming out very soon. But uh, that'll be it for now. This is a pretty long video, and I want to. I don't want to drag it out for too long. So hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, be sure to that like or favorite button below. Subscribe, guys, new for more awesome videos, and you get notified whenever another episode of this game goes live. Uh, if you guys want to check out the game, we'll link in the description below for that. Thank you guys once again for watching. My name is Jesse K, and I will see your beautiful faces on the flip side. Okay, pause. It's me, SDSK, from the future. So I know I said I'm going to end this video right now, but there's not too much of the demo left, and it's not really worth it making into two different parts, so I decided let's just make it into one longer part. So hope you guys don't mind. I know I said I'm going to end the video, but it's not going to end. It is going to keep going, guys. Don't worry about it. So with that said, let the game roll on. It's finally the first day of classes. For the past week, it's uh, I've almost <laughs> I can't read. For the past week, I've spent most of my time setting up the room and getting uh, used to my used to the campus. Where they call it a surprisingly big, as it is an auditorium capable of fitting a couple hundred people, a lounge that doubles as a cafeteria, a library, and I'd say I'm pretty good at finding uh, my way around now. See, that's the thing. Like, so I, I I've this I just finished my first semester of college. And when I first went there, like, I was checking out the place, I was like, damn, this place is, like, huge. Like, I don't know where, where I'm doing. Like, I don't know where to go. And, like, by the end of it, I'm just like, oh, you go that way for there. You go that way for there. I know everything is. It's weird. You get, you get used to stuff real fast. I haven't checked out the rooms above, but as far as I know, all three student floors are more or less the same. I almost uh, oh I also haven't been able to check out the academy building yet. It's all it's been off limits for the past week and it's finally opening today. I'm dying to see who will be in my classes. Uh oh that same chill I felt when I got here uh, snuck up on me again. Again, it's a good chill. I'm ready. Oh there's Calum. Ready to uh, get some breakfast before the big day. We're heading to the main cafeteria. You got it. The main cafeteria isn't too far of a walk from Relic Hall. It's, uh, it's also conveniently located in the middle of the campus next to the main uh, academy building where we'll all be attending our classes. So if you guys missed out on the last episode, be sure to hit that link in the description below. We'll take you to the series playlist. Um, basically, we took... Uh, the only big thing is that we made Callum our roommate and we picked Fire and Dragon as our two, um, two types of... or our two class types. The main cafeteria is absolutely massive while the student... Oh, well, the student center as a whole is a massive building. It's the second only uh, to the Academy's main building itself, which all the students also refer to as the Academy. Here is the cafe. Hundreds of students can be seated simultaneously and, most importantly, comfortably. At first, I thought space would be oh space would be an issue, but I was surprised to find uh, out the opposite is true. Morning hours tend to be the most hectic as students uh, from all different grades file in, uh, but, as op but operations run uh, smoothly never nonetheless. What the... What the heck? <laughs> I have Pokemon doing slave work. Uh, for, no, okay, it certainly makes uh, things easier than when various Pokemon help uh, with service while the academy staff handles the cooking and, ta and talking. Thanks. To, oh, then again, that isn't the only place. Oh, this is the only place that there uh, food. What? That serves food, food and canvas. Many students opt. Pardon me. Uh, for the small cafes and lounges located in the old other buildings, such as student facilities and residential halls. Oh, that was. Wait a minute. It says year one, Monday, April 8th. That means that there are other years, guys. <gasps> There's going to be other years. This game's going to be massive. We're just here because it's closer to our classes. Oh, look. Oh, look who's joining us this morning. Serena. <gasps> Knew it. And look at that girl right there. Morning, Selena. Morning, Sha Wait, Who's Shauna, dude? I don't know freaking Shauna. Who's Shauna? Damn. Good morning, Prince and Callum. Morning, guys. That was, that was bombastic. Hey, what's going on, Shauna? Nothing. Just super excited. 
And now today, that was weird. We're first day, it's sunny. We're all here at the same time. All the cute Pokemon here. The I'm too excited to even eat. I just want to go out and find out who my new classmates are. Oh, who my new classmates are? What about you, Prince? I'm about to explode with excitement. Explode. I'm so excited I'm going to explode. I know, right? No, Shana, that was, probably, uh, that was the best response that I would give her. Expression increased. Anyway, uh, you have to eat something, Shauna. It'd be a miracle if you could hold up all like, uh, what? Like that throughout the entire day. She's probably going to be burned out. No way. Today's special. But you're right. Breakfast sounds good, too. A few days ago, I ran into Serena uh, again while wandering uh, around the dorms. That's how I uh, got introduced to Shauna, who is Serena's roommate. Shauna's uh, one serious bundle of energy. That's for sure. As far as Serena, I didn't... Oh, I didn't too... What? Chat with her? Too... What? I didn't too chat with her much the past week. But... I guess the two is a little off, but uh, I'm looking forward to say, hanging out with her more. I'm a bit early to start daydreaming, Prince. Oh, it's a bit early to start dreaming, Prince. Let's go. All right, Kaylin, let's go. This way. <laughs> After you, Serena. Why, thank you. Capture cards updated. Let's go and check them out. So, uh, if you guys don't know what about this game, once again, check out the last episode, but basically it's a Pokemon uh, Academy where you would, uh, well, you play as a person attending um, this academy and you make friends along the way and you can go on dates with people in the world and it's all freaking awesome and Pokemon tastic. Uh, so students, let's see, Serena, flip. Serena's always maintained a refined ladylike persona throughout her young adult life. However, much to, to her dismay, she is, uh, what? She is often judged as a snobby socialite. Uh, as a result, Serena works extra hard to fit in with the rest of uh, her peers. Okay, and Shauna. Whoa, what's up, Shauna? Dragon and Fairy. Oh, wait, what's, uh... Fire and Dark! Oh, we, we're at least in one class together. So, wait, and she, does she have a dragon? Oh, sweet! Sweet! Shauna and I are also one class, sweet! Um, wait a minute. Alright, wait, I'll, I'll read her character description, I'll tell you guys my two cents about this. Alright, Shauna deeply uh, treasures the connections she made throughout her life. Whether it's uh, with Pokemon, oh, well, it's people or Pokemon. At <clears throat> Kobukan Academy just do things on her mind to further deepen the bonds she clearly shares with uh, and build uh, brand new ones. Okay, so the reason uh, I believe it's not just a randomly generated thing, uh, this whole like Sha Serena having fire and Shauna having dragon, I think what it is is that as we go on, um, we're supposed to like I, ha I I'll get the eventually I'll get the choice to like who I want to develop with. God damn it. Stupid Skype. Uh, I'll get a chance to know who I get to develop with, I guess. And I get to almost like build a relationship with them. I think that's what it is. Because again, it is described as a social simulator dating sim. So that's kind of what, you know, just, just, uh, that's my two cents about this. It's clear we're not the only ones who are anxious and, uh, oh, what? Yeah, we're anxious. The unintelligible, in intelligible? But uh, fer fervent. <laughs> Palmering. What the? F what is this vocabulary? When did I become so intellectual? Mostly from students stuffing their mouths full and dashing out of the cafeteria before they can finish chewing. All contributed to the infectious hype. Back home, or rather any school from any region, I uh, I doubt it's possible to find so many students so excited for the first day as the students here. Honestly, again, again, relating this to college, it is true. I like, you know, I'm never like ex like. Like, school has always been like, okay, oh, it's got, it's, it's time for freaking school, like, I gotta get up and do shit and, oh, gotta go to school, whatever. First day of college, or like the week leading up to the first day of college, I was just, I wanted it to come. I was just so hyped for it. I was like, college, dude, I'm going to freaking college. Whew. I'll admit, I became a victim to this atmosphere. I ate quickly with a mad, uh, what? With a, like a madman, shoving my last piece of toast into my mouth, like the many students before me, and got up from my seat. Okay, so we have homeroom for two hours. And then I believe it's fire uh, and gym, or dragon and gym. And then something, and then lastly we have homeroom again. Wow! This area of the campus is amazing! What does that say? I look up and see the symbols uh, imposed upon the facade. 
Kabu oh, Kabukan Academy. So, is that what that says? Clearly, I can't read. Supposedly, this building uh, has been around for nearly a century. I have no idea if, there's, if that's a rumor or not, or not, because of its condition, it makes it look like it's uh, like it built recently. Yeah, maybe you know, it does look pretty new, but it does have some fair cracks over there, you know. It's uh, oh, I'm having a different time imagining uh, what this what this is what I'll be looking at each day from now on. Well, I guess I'll get used to it eventually. Not a word, uh, what? Oh, not a word of complaint from me. Oh, I've been I've been reading so much. First thing is on the first thing on the first thing on the agenda is to check the homeroom assignments, right, guys? Oh, are we all in the same homeroom? Oh, they they all left. Oh, they all ditched me. Hmm. I knew it was a little too quiet, even with all the students here. Did I just walk he ahead too fast? Maybe I'll head inside and check the assignments on my own first. Okay. Let's find out. I, I don't know how long this is going to be, guys, just because I've freaking I've been reading a crap ton. Oh, sweet. Oh, there we go. Perfect. The demo ends here, and there's a lot more currently under development and on the way. <sighs> Man, that's it. But hey, there are a bunch of other paths you can take uh, for some variation. As the, as the game goes on, the choices you make will have even more impact. Right now, it's about to... Uh, what? It's about getting you used to everything and getting everything uh, right. Your choices will uh, determine who you, uh, you, who, 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 who you meet. And now, can't you just find everyone right away? Wait, and you can't just find everyone right away? Sometimes it comes down to your choices and sometimes you just need to be patient. Did I read that correctly? Um, I don't know how to say this, but good luck. You have to check the development updates uh, via the community uh, Poke Community Forum, or if you uh, prefer social media, follow the uh, Pokemon Visual Twitter account. Make sure you uh, oh, make sure to report any bugs or anything weird in general. You can reach out to the creator with uh, the previous links, or you can send an email with uh, email to Pokemon Visual Dev at gmail .com. Suggestions are also more than welcome. By the way, thanks for playing. All right. You know what, guys? All right, so I know I said I was going to end that video before and then make this part two, whatever. You know what? Screw it. It's going to be one long video, so hope you guys don't mind uh, me saying the outro and then not really ending the video. But anyway, what? Uh, that was that was super fun. Like, honestly, I'm super, super pumped about this. Uh, dude, I have a Pikachu on my freaking shoulder. Sweet. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited about this. Honestly, like, I'm a huge Pokemon fan, and seeing this game, like, honestly, this game made me smile when I first saw it. So, I'm just super excited about this. I will definitely be playing this game when it comes out. You guys can check out the link the, to, you know, play the game for yourself. Like, uh, um, like the, uh, I guess the ending said, you can, uh, there are other outros or other variations that you can kind of go for. So, uh, you can check out the game and maybe, you know, get a different roommate or uh, make a different choice. Pick, uh, pick whatever you're two uh, Pokemon types are, and all that great stuff, uh, if you want to play it, I definitely re do recommend checking it out, because it's super fun, um, wow, that was, that was a lot, my voice is go it's slowly going uh, from reading for so long, uh, but honestly, it was worth it, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, and I hope you guys enjoyed the game, if you guys did, be sure to hit that like or favorite button below, and of course, be sure to subscribe, and, uh, and get this series off to a wonderful start, I know it's not, you know, officially done yet but when when the game does come out you'll get notified when i put up the video um and uh we're also close to 400 subscribers so it'd be awesome if you guys could go ahead and subscribe and share this channel around and get get us to 400 subscribers but uh with that said that is it for me i'm once again super excited for this my name is k guys and i'll see your beautiful faces on the flip side <laughs>